This past summer, Microsoft made the OpenXML SDK an open source project out on GitHub. This is great because the community now can contribute to that and we can take it even further. Um, I'm gonna show you a way that we can use the OpenXML SDK combined with a SharePoint app to do some really creative things, maybe things around document assembly. So the scenario I'm gonna go with here is I have a library with a number of PowerPoint presentations and I want to combine all of these different decks maybe into one big consolidated deck. So I might have a bunch of different people you know, creating their slides. Again, this might be a, an alternative to something like co-authoring. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and upload a new deck to this library. I have one on my desktop here. And once this goes into the library, I wanna point out one thing is that each one of these decks might have a completely different theme. So in this case, um, this might be one where someone took one of the out of the box themes that PowerPoint provides. Um, however, if I go into some of these other ones, this might be more of a custom theme that someone created Whereas someone may have been really lazy and said, I'm not gonna put any theme at all. I'm just gonna do the, you know, the standard brand new file. And so what we're gonna do is combine all these together and we're going to keep the same formatting that each deck has. Now, what's great is the open XML SDK would allow us to maybe uh, apply a consistent theme across all of those. In this case, I decided to keep the theming in case people were doing, you know, maybe some pixel perfect layouts within their slides. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. The way that we're going to deliver this with the OpenXML SDK is inside an app for SharePoint. Uh, and we're gonna surface this in the ribbon. So I might select a number of my files here. Um, I can exclude certain files if I want to, but in the ribbon, I have a brand new ribbon button that our app delivered. It's called the Combine Dex button. So you can see that here in the ribbon and we can use this now to be able to go and send these files into our app and, and pull them together into a single uh, PowerPoint presentation. So I'll go ahead and click on the button here and this will load our application in a dialog and it will show all those files that we selected. Now one of the files we selected happened to be an image, this PNG file here, and you can see that not only does it keep it unchecked, it also disables it. So I can't try to pull a invalid file into my combined presentation. From here, I can pick and choose which slide decks that I, I make as part of my combined presentation. So it gives me another option, another set of checkboxes here to pick and choose which ones I want to do in my presentation. So I'll just go ahead and give this a name, combined deck, and say okay. And now this is gonna go crank away at reading uh, all the details of these slides and putting it together as one single presentation file based on the name that we provided. Some of these decks are pretty large in size. So I know one in particular had a custom theme and it had uh, about 40 slides within it. So this will take just a few moments for this to complete uh, the, the assembly of this new presentation. But ultimately when it's complete, this dialogue will close and it will refresh our library to display that brand new file that was created across all of these different presentation decks that we wanted to combine. So just here in just a, a moment, this should complete, and we'll take a look at our combined deck. So there it goes, our dialog is closed. Um, it's in the process of updating that library, and you can see here is our brand new combined deck created just a few seconds ago. And if we go into this, we'll see that all of those slides that we selected from all the different decks have been combined into one. So this is one consolidated presentation here that has kept the formatting of each of those decks. So the first two slides here were from one deck. And now we're going to a completely different um, deck that we pulled in here. So there's a number of slides from those. Um, and if I go to the very end here, we can even go and see this was a, a, a very simple formatted deck. And then um, here's one more that shows some cloud services things. So hopefully this shows how we can use something like the OpenXML SDK combined with a SharePoint app to deliver some really neat capability within Office 365.